Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel and welcome to November's How to Kill a Kit with Style Supplies and Plans. So I've been meaning for quite a while to start a series. Um, I think I might have even done a video a couple, a few months ago, a, a hybrid scrapbooking series. And I've been wanting to use printables, a printable collection, and my gorgeous Nicole Jones 911 DigiPrints as the main elements of one of my monthly kits or focuses. And I just, I didn't get around to doing it. So we are going to do it this month. Now I have here, I do not have a 12 by 12 printer. And uh, you may have heard me talk about that in, in a video recently where I said, you know, I'm going to go back on another year long spending freeze, which uh, you have probably seen that video now. Christy and I are embarking on another full one year. We started on the 1st of November and lots of you lovely lovelies are joining us. So that's going to be so, so much fun. But one of the things I said is if I'm pleased and if I go all the way through to that year, what my reward might be is a 12 by 12 printer. In the meantime, I don't mind, I buy the lovely Tracy Reed uh, collections, or I bought because now I, they, they will be part of the spending freeze, but I have tons. I have tons and tons of her gorgeous collections. And this one here that I have with you is the September release. It's called Goldenrod. I got the 12 by 12 uh, papers, the... Traveler Notebook signatures, not the papers. I got the journaling cards, and of course I got all of the stickers. I think that's everything that I got. I printed it borderless on eight and a half by 11, and that's fine because I can use as backgrounds, I can use my cardstock, my white, cream, black, or, you know, I might actually try because in the Rediscover Your Stash, Facebook group this month of November, our focus is colored cardstock. So I might go in and get some gorgeous peach, corally, um, and these lovely blue cardstocks as well. So I have the Goldenrod collection. I then have here a few, and I'm going to definitely get a lot more of the lovely Nicole Jones 911 Digi Prints. I've got some alphas and um, a couple of sequin mixes. Now, I do not have everything here, obviously, that I'm going to use. And as we go through this, you'll see why. Because I have lots of fussy cutting to do. And once that fussy cutting is done, I will be able to go and add. Because I definitely need to add some gorgeous Bramble Fox acrylic bits. And some Flare Hut Flare Alicious pieces to this as well. So these are the papers. I'm just going to go through these quickly with you and they are gorgeous. They're one-sided of course because I printed them myself. I use um, Epson, either one of two things. I use either the Epson um, matte professional paper or the HP professional presentation paper, the premium in both cases, and I love them, and I use that for my Nicole Jones 911 Digi Prints as well. A little plaid, a little pumpkin here. I might not be using that to focus on the pumpkins, but I love, love, love the color. A nice neutral. Now, the neutral in here, there is some black, but the neutral, there's a lot of gray, and I do love gray as a neutral. Leaf pattern. Now you see one thing I do love that Tracy Reed does in her collections. The this is a fairly tight pattern. You see, there's not there is white space, but not too much. And you've heard me talk about that time and time again. This spacing is just perfect for me, and I love all of these different colors. I love that we have the peaches and corals as opposed to true pink. Some of the grays. These beautiful aqua tealy blues this is just a nice uh black background with some stars 
this plaid. Now you see this is a very, very busy plaid. So I would use this in small chunks. This could be fussy cut out to give uh, additional, these are tickets. I also have uh, some Nicole Jones 911 tickets. This could be used as embellishments as it could be used as paper per se. Beautiful floral, beautiful. And there again, you see, look at this, the spacing is lovely uh, here. There we go, a nice little just plaid here. I love this blue. Polka dot, multicolored polka dots on white. This isn't this floral adorable. So I love, 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 love that floral. Beautiful golden yellow, hence the name goldenrod. That is the color of goldenrod. Again, pumpkins. I'm not sure that I will use them for the pumpkins, but definitely usable. Another gorgeous background here in the goldenrod color. Beautiful peach, another plaid, such usable, usable, there is not one paper here that is sort of, meh, not one, they are all beautiful and very, very usable, there is a good mix of backgrounds, of smaller patterns, of larger just lovely, lovely, lovely collection. So I'm looking forward to testing myself on that. Now, so you see the other things that I've gotten. Let me get a paper here that sort of has all of the colors in it because we're going to need that. I have um, what Tracy Reed calls the stickers. Am I properly in frame? Yes, I am. The stickers. So these will all get fussy cut. I enjoy fussy cutting. So for me, this is just fun. You, you've heard me talk about this before. It's Sunday evening, Sunday afternoon, sit down, watch YouTube, do fussy cutting. So lots of fun. There's some tickets and leaves and pumpkins and journaling cards and tags and tabs, um, circles, beautiful florals. So very, very versatile. Now she did, she included this for people who might want to do an October daily. I don't do an October daily, but I do have a six by eight album that I want to do, which may feature with some of these uh, because it was um, a bit of a celebration month for me, as you all know. So I might use some of these, you know, for instance, I think I'm going to record the eighth per se, so I might use some of these on there as well. But, you know, the other thing, oh, now, wait a minute. Now, you see, one thing that could be fun, hang on, let me get a flare. No, I, I picked anyone. This happens to be in uh, the print shop, the bowl that I have with uh, my print shop collection. But you see there, look at that. See, now, wouldn't that be, I could just punch these out and do, oh, Helen, are you proud of me? I love that. Helen often does this kind of thing and then she puts twine as well. I do, do, do like that. So there's an idea for some of these circles as well. Then I have the journaling cards, uh, which will be useful for my six by eight album. Uh, and But some of them I could actually use for journaling cards as well. Four by six, three by four. These are three by fours. Then you see here we have, this one is, is fun. We have a, a three by four, two, uh, a four by six, two three by fours and some tags. These are all three by fours, four by six and three by fours. I love that this, oh, this could go beautifully with some of my leftover uh, cocoa vanilla, couldn't it? There we go. Ooh, this I have a feeling yeah, see, I think I'm going to have to go back in and reprint this. Every once in a while, I have to do my clean my printer heads because I don't, this didn't, this did not print out the way it should. But you know what? Like I often say, you never know. Sometimes like this, I, I have a feeling the, the back of this should just be this gorgeous orange here. But you never know. This could be, so I'm not going to, I'm not going to throw this away. I might be able to use it somehow. Lots of tags here, and the now okay. Now we're into the signatures, the traveler's notebook signatures, and these were the first two 
So there you go. Look at it. But now this one, you see, has all sorts of cut aparts on it. Or you could use it as is. This with lots of journaling. Love, love, love these. These can be inserted into a page. The season of change. That could be appropriate with something to do with my turning 65. There we go. Some more signatures. So those are all the bits that I have from Goldenrod. The papers, the stickers, and all of that good stuff. Now, what I have already taken out um, are some, but I'm going to go back. Oh, I'm sorry if you can hear that car alarm going on. I've got, I've taken some mushrooms and butterflies in colors that match. Oh, that's very annoying. Hang on, friends. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I, you know my, my favorites I've mentioned before, flowers number five, the mushrooms, butterflies. So I have definitely got some of those out, but um, there are obviously other bits that I'm going to get the lovely little pale yellow butterflies more golden yellow. I have these which are in the more yellow family, but I'm not sure. This might be a little too brown. We'll, we'll have to see. Golden yellow into more of the peach colors, um, the darker peach, and then even into sort of the more orange uh, here. Beautiful, bright goldenrod. This would be a goldenrod color. I've taken some of these little one-inch circle labels as well. And I think I might print out um, some of the one-and-a-half-inch to go with that. Some, some flowers number five in this gorgeous, gorgeous gray. In the... Uh, or this is from bright orange. This is from peach then look at these gorgeous mushrooms. Look at these gorgeous mushrooms. So I have some more of that to print and fussy cut. So before I get going, you can see that I have quite a bit of fussy cutting to do. So I want to do all of that. Then I will go in. Now you see I've got some journaling labels here to use. Then I will go in and add my Flaralicious pieces and my Bramble Fox Gorgeous Acrylics Perspectives to this as well. So far, I have taken two uh, Spiegel Mom Scrap sequin mixes out. Sweet Summer. Look how beautiful that, beautifully that matches. The colors are absolutely perfect. And then I took Rainbow Sherbet. Now, Sweet Summer, I think, I think when we were talking about it maybe last week, it might be Temporarily out of stock. I'm not sure if it's back in stock. Uh, I think Rainbow Sherbert is. Um, but I'll be bringing in, I may be bringing in some more sequins as well. I've brought in two alphas so far. This is a Pink Fresh Studio. Look how that matches beautifully. And the coral, these are larger from Simple Story, so I have those. Then we'll have to see. Now, I think I want to bring in my LE Studio stamp. Um, I got the, uh, what is it called, Jane? The Medium Jane, and it's perfect. So I think I want to do some stamping. So I'll bring that in. I don't have it here with me. And then something that I've got for myself, because... Um, for Christie's celebration hop on the 1st of November, when we were celebrating her 10-year anniversary uh, here on YouTube and her 500 subbies, um, I used one of the sketches. Christie has, has been doing here and there um, a few sketches, and she had put a couple of sketches over in the 30, um, uh, 30 Days of Sketches group. She did not have a sketch... Uh, of her own in this last series, in series 10, because she was highlighting, focusing, and giving uh, pride of place to all of um, our lovely creative friends. But 
as part of her celebration video, she put up four gorgeous and for me, very original and different sketches. I love her sketches. So I thought, you know, that is perfect to pair with. Now, I have my Sketch Sunday series with my friends, which we're going to continue doing. But I think I am going to bring this into this month's How to Kill a Kit with Style and try and do these use these lovely sketches. So that we'll be using Christy sketches. We have some really fun and we have a fun exclusive uh, sketch over in Sketch Sunday by one of our lovely friends who plays along with us. I'm not telling you who yet. You'll see. Uh, you'll probably see this Sunday actually. And then I think maybe for my collection obsession, I might uh, try and use a couple of Lisa Sikorsky sketches and then we are bringing back our scrap lift um, Saturday series and then I'll just do a few things you know on my own as I do enjoy doing so there you go my friends that is what I have up my sleeve for November and I am obviously going to try and get at least four layouts, but maybe, now I got eight done using my How to Kill a Kit with Style in October. So let's aim for at least six this month. So at least four sketches and two, uh, maybe just using um, my fun go-to designs of one of them, a one-third, two-thirds or a half and half, and the other one, an L-shaped design. So, there you go, my friends, and make sure you pop on down below. I think everybody else uh, may have already shown their kits, although Sarah, my lovely friend Sarah, is posting at the same time as I am. But all of the links will be down below to see what everybody is up to in November. See you soon, my friends. Bye for now.